My masterpiece, a toy boat that I had spent countless hours making for my little brother. But just as I'm about to bring his gift to him, I trip over this seemingly innocuous pile of shoes, sending the boat flying from my hands and shattering my boat into honestly not too many pieces, but it has a big hole in it, and boats usually don't float with big holes in them. So I grabbed the only thing I knew that could fix it. Ramen! The fit was perfect! It was as if God himself had crafted my ideal solution for me. Fixed boat in hand, I began thinking about the next frontier, a place where ramen isn't relegated to the shelf. I would love to just start making a ramen boat now, but I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. So I have to do a few tests first. I'm gonna try just gluing these together because that's the first thing I think of instantly. <laughs> I'm just gonna, and then, yeah, so. We're gonna do a little test. Yeah. For glue, okay? Huge, genius idea. Wood glue. Because this is, this is carbon based. It's like wood, it'll just soak it up. I'll figure, a little dousing in glue. Why is it so hard to open? FBI, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's great. This is acting just like wood. Oh, this is, this is, I should have started here. The other idea I have is a lot more complicated and fun. I'm trying to like wring them out. I'm juicing them. I'm milking them. Milk. I want to like really get it tangled. That's pretty good. Dude, that's a bowl. Oh, you haven't heard of ramen mache? Well, <laughs> come with me, I'll show you how to make it. What about then? Soup puree. The rod. The rod of truth. That is not much. That's pretty good, I think. I don't know. I've never mixed ramen with wood glue before. <coughs> yeah, I need seasoning. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Yo! It smells good. How does it taste now? Yeah, I don't know. It's not bad. Real salty. Ramen boat! Ramen boat! Ramen boat! The carbohydrates are great for the tree. You're welcome. I put this in the oven and it got really really brittle they actually taste really good they're like baked now we mix glue into bucket this place smells like chicken noodle shop that seems like a good amount okay maybe not i'm making wood filler <laughs> ramen chicken wood filler i'm gonna need so much glue for this this is never gonna dry this is just a ramen <laughs> If you need to make homemade clay, that's your answer. <laughs> I'm doing science, leave me alone. Ramen bowl. And this is also done too. Look at this, dude. This is actually a freaking ramen bowl. It's a little bit, um. Ramen is technically two servings, so this one has a split where the second serving is. It's looking a little rough. Test number one, bowl of water. Real first test, the bite test. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> hey, actually, I couldn't bite through it. So I'd say bite test wise, I did pretty good. Does it float on its own? Oh, no, not really. Especially if I put this on it. No, break test. Highly flexible, bull. Yeah, I'd, I'd say about the same. This one's gotta do so much better floating. Oh, oh, it sprung a leak, it sprung a leak. There's water in the bowl. We're gathering very important information. Outside very hard still, still floats, still supports it. This is the way to go. Now I think it's lunchtime. Now we take our ramen noodle, put that in the ramen bowl. Our flavor packet. There we have our delicious ramen inside of our ramen bowl. Now we just fill it with boiling water, even though we know it doesn't hold water. 
Oh, it's dripping. Oh, it's going everywhere. Quickly, quickly eat it. You know, it's still got liquid in it. It's doing a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, this is just gross now. Sorry, YouTube. Perfect. Now we can move on to making the full boat. In order to make the boat, we're gonna need a form the same way that we formed the ramen over the bowl earlier. Like, like this form. Except this one has a flat bottom connected to the sides and that's gonna create a stress concentration right there. So we're gonna need to make this thing a little bit smoother before we can start forming ramen over it. You're gonna be beautiful. I don't even worry about it. Oh my God, look at my purse. Now that is one round bottom boat, baby. Let's go drape some soggy noodles all over this. So I boiled 204 packets of ramen to make a canoe, until I realized draping it over the top wasn't going to work and also I maybe should mix glue into the noodles to help them stick. Once I figured that out, there was nothing stopping me from slanging tens of pounds of noodles inside the form. This is so silly. <laughs> ramen! Except for when I ran out of noodles. So I went back to the store. Day two! and worked a second day for five hours and another 200 packets of ramen to make the best goddamn ramen canoe ever. <laughs> That's a ramen canoe. This is such a ridiculous thing to just have in my living room. Oh, Joy, I've got a very exciting update for you. You see that? All of that, can you see that? Apparently, apparently, um... Apparently ramen's closer to pumpkins than it is to wood, and it has started to mold. Well, I'm not really sure what to do now. And I really wasn't sure what I was gonna do. I started going through the five phases of grief. First with denial, spraying the whole boat down with bleach, thinking that maybe I could kill all the mold and still dry the bottom. I tried flipping it onto a different mold, but... So... I just went through the other stages of grief and then went back to the drawing board. It's fine. I don't even care. I've run out of ramen noodles and I've run out of budget, but I still have all of this trash. So I'm thinking, can I turn this trash into a boat? So let's get to experimenting with all this trash. Bam! Here's a thought. I want to try welding all of these together into a tarp and then skinning a kayak with them. But I need to see how to do that. First technique, overlapping. The real flat, oh no. Maybe I just need more heat. Oh, it's shrinking. Super melted now. Oh, it kind of sticks. No, it only sticks where it's melted all the way through. The inside seems to have glued together. So I might have to go inside to inside instead. Okay, it is, yeah, it's now like, that's completely welded. Dude, yes! All right, that's how we're doing it. The weld is the strongest part. I think that'll work. All right, let me try and make a bigger sheet. This is four ramen packets together. It's only two layers thick, but it's really strong. That works. It worked really well. So well that I was able to make a 15 foot long tarp out of it. But that also meant that I had to spend a couple of days cutting three seams off of each ramen packet 400 times. Then I built the frame of the boat. As I said, I was running low on budget and time, so I built the boat out of one inch thinner than Schedule 40 PVC pipe. I didn't just use PVC though. I also cut out wood for the bulkheads and for the bow and stern. Then zip tied it all together. There's no battery in this. Wow. Yeah! All right, we got a boat. 
Now, I have no idea whether or not this is actually going to work, but one thing I do know is that there is a pipe right in between my butt cheeks. I'm supposed to sew these together, but I don't know if it's even strong enough to hold for that. And I want to like melt them together. I think I might do that. And if it all just like rips and falls apart in the water, then I guess I'll just drown and die. All right, it's covered in ramen packets now, so time to figure out how the hell we get it to the river. I don't want to worry about putting it on top of my car. Oh shit. <laughs> Please fit inside. Dude, it's only a little sticking out. The cops won't even care. There's only one ratchet strap holding it in. Like. Yeah, well that's what this is for. <laughs> I don't even need to put a flag on it. It's bright orange. You know where it is. Fuck it, let's roll. Alright. The ground feels like diarrhea. Jeez, dude, look at my shoe. It really, the ground did poop all over me. Not on the white shoes! Hello. It isn't that cold today, but it is January and we just had an ice storm. So it was cold, like, not so long ago. And that's why I'm putting on a wetsuit. <laughs> I think I just tore my Sunday. underwear. Stop following me! Get this man away from me! If you can make it from here to there... Then it's a boat. Then it's a boat. Shake on it. Give it a little... That's like... like the ocean? I'm not going in. You have to. I'm not going in. <laughs> no, it's just not. <laughs> <laughs> now we assess the damage. Bear with the bad lighting for a second, my cameraman decided that we were gonna cosplay as the sun. Just hit the dock. But pretty much there's a bunch of holes in the boat and I'm gonna fix them with duct tape and paint makes me the boat builder I ain't, right? Dude, what hole are you talking about? I'm a little baby, so we gotta start over here. I just can't do it over there. Oh, it's so cold. How do I get it? There it is. Oh, dude, you got it. Go, 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 go. There's half of the water. Now you gotta make it back. I'm gonna get it. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's so full of water! Man! That's a raw man boat! Gotta take it home. Get out, There's get a out, huge hole in it. Get out, get out, get out. Nay, I'm Jack Sparrowing this ship. In conclusion, ramen in all of its forms, whether that be the noodle or the plastic, doesn't do very well as a boat, I think. If you made it this far, don't lie to yourself. You like my content, so just go ahead and subscribe. It's all free. Watch other stuff. That pays me. You just enjoying yourself pays me. That's sick. As everyone knows, a captain must go down with his ship, so I'll see you in the next video.